the cursed grimoire, pages of peril. The old bookstore smelled of dust and forgotten promises. Cobwebs draped the ceiling like ghostly shrouds, and the air hung heavy with the scent of aging paper and leather. I, a lover of all things obscure, relished the atmosphere. That's how I found it, tucked away in a dusty corner, nestled amongst volumes on alchemy and the occult, a leather-bound book adorned with an unsettlingly intricate silver skull. The title, etched in elegant script, sent a shiver down my spine. The Grimoire of the Unseen. I held my breath, the weight of the book heavy in my hands. It was a book of spells, whispering of ancient rituals and forgotten gods. I was captivated, mesmerized by the forbidden knowledge it contained. The first spell was simple, a charm for good fortune. I dismissed it, thinking it merely a test of my courage, a way to ease me into the book's more potent secrets. As I turned the brittle pages, the spells grew darker, filled with warnings and cryptic language. I was warned to tread lightly, to understand the consequences, but the allure of power was too strong. I craved something more, something grand. I found it in the final pages, a spell for perfect beauty. The ritual was complex, involving strange herbs and incantations whispered under the light of a full moon. I, once a shy, insecure girl, saw this as my chance to be the envy of all. I needed this. That night, I followed the instructions meticulously. The air crackled with energy as I muttered the words, feeling inexplicably powerful. When the ritual was complete, I felt a rush of euphoria, a sense of being reborn. But as the euphoria faded, a creeping dread replaced it. My reflection in the mirror was no longer my own. My eyes, once soft brown, were now obsidian black. My skin, once pale, was now a sickly white, taut and stretched over my bones. My lips, once full, were thin and drawn into a chilling sneer. I was beautiful, yes, but the beauty was a mask, hiding something monstrous beneath. I was trapped, ensnared by the spell's dark magic. I had traded my humanity for a cruel caricature of beauty, a hollow shell devoid of warmth and life. The spell had granted me my desire, but at a horrific cost. The book was a curse, and I, its victim. As I stared into the mirror, my reflection a twisted mockery of myself, I realized the true horror. The spells had not been meant to empower, but to corrupt. They had not granted knowledge, but stolen my soul. And now, I was forever bound to the grimoire of the unseen, a prisoner in my own monstrous beauty. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.